big project on Detroit's west side is aimed at preventing flooding and keeping basements dry. These are called bioretention ponds. They help keep storm water out of the sewer system. Victor Williams live with this story for us. Victor, a, a really interesting solution to a long running problem. Yeah, very interesting indeed, Devin. And we know that they've tried this before in the past, but now they're trying to help even more people. We know about all of the problems that have been going on right here in the Brightmore area, but these officials are now trying to change things for not only them, but others as well. We're always flooded on the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's always trash. For the longest time, it seems like Michael Newsom has had to deal with flooding from sewage surrounding his home in Brightmore. You can smell it through the night. You can smell it any time through the day. You know, it, it's tough to keep our door open because the water just it, it stands and it's like a marsh out there sometimes. But now all that's changing thanks to a multi-million dollar project that will help residents see fewer sewer overflows. We're going to install 24 bioretention practices to manage stormwater throughout this area. Lisa Wallach with DWSD calls it the Finkel Stormwater Projects that are aiming to reduce flooding and basement backups. Blackstone Street will also look completely different. We will remove a portion of this Blackstone Street between Midland and Keeler, about 460 feet, and it will manage over 2 million gallons of stormwater annually. Overall, the bioretention gardens will directly benefit about 100 homes nearby and many others around one specific body of water. Everybody along the Rouge River will benefit from reducing the amount of untreated combined sewage from discharging to that river. If it's good and it's going to help the community, you know, I'm all for it. And construction starts in 2024. Live in Brightmore, Victor Williams, Local 4.